Hey folks, if you are going to be doing the Coyote Gulch hike, there is a section of it that a lot of people take where they kind of climb into it and out of the gulch using rope. And that particular section of the gulch gets a lot of questions such as, do I need the rope? Can I do it without the rope? I'm talking about this particular area. You may have seen it, you may have watched videos of it, pictures, images, mentions, whatever the case is. There isn't a lot of specific information about this particular spot, if it's dangerous, if it's safe, and I want to help answer those questions in this video because I've personally done it, so let me share my experiences. First of all, what you need to know is that if you experience dizziness uh, on heights, if you're afraid of heights, if you have any doubt whatsoever, if it's your first time hiking through Coyote Gulch, if you're wearing some heavy backpacks, I highly recommend you bring the rope because it makes the process way easier way way easier in fact um i uh, the thing about coyote gulch and climbing into it from there is that when you're standing at the top it looks like this so it's like you're looking at it from the top and it's like well it's like the slope is nothing i can climb down into it without using rope once you start climbing down to it it feels more like this and when you're climbing out of coyote gulch using that same thing which is what we did that slope suddenly looks like this all right, and let me show you an illustration of that. So here I'm standing at the top of it, my buddy's climbing down. It doesn't even look that steep from here. Take a look at this picture. This makes the slope look way more steep than this particular section. So having a rope when you're climbing out of it, when it's much more difficult, that's my experience, is much, much easier. And when I was climbing out of Coyote Gulch, it was exhausting. Uh, it's way easier to climb down into it than it is out of it, and having that rope to help you really comes in handy. You can definitely do the Coyote Gulch hike in this particular section without rope, but I highly recommend it if you uh, fit into any of the five categories that I mentioned, which is, you know, if you get dizzy, if you're afraid of heights, if you're bringing heavy gear, if it's your first time doing it, if you're not experienced or you have any doubt, the rope makes it so much easier and doable. Now, um, in my particular case, my friends and I started the Coyote Gulch hike on the water tank trail. We worked our way to the actual uh, section of the hike where you have to climb down. And uh, what, I, what, I, what unfortunately happened was that the rope that I originally had with me, which is this one, 60 feet long, I thought it would be enough to get me into the actual gulch, and I was, I was really wrong. It didn't even come close to it. I uh, had a person that was there. It was just a stranger climbing out of it. He helped me tie the rope to the rock, and as we threw it down, I was like, oh, crap, that's not even going to come close. What am I going to do? Well, fortunately, there were some people that were climbing out of the gulch at the time that I was there, and one of those people happened to have a rope, which actually did get to the bottom. And I bought it from him for 250 bucks. This is the rope. And this rope made it so much easier for, get, for us to get down into Coyote Gulch and then get out of it. And um, later on, what I did was I looked on Amazon and other places to see if he ripped me off because uh, I paid 250 bucks for that rope. We were kind of in a desperate situation, so we didn't care about the money. We just wanted to make sure it was a safe climb down. And it uh, turns out the guy was actually uh, legit. Uh, this is that rope that he sold me. And uh, it's anywhere from uh, 200 and up to a little bit at the, on the high end of 200. But you can select sizes here. I have the 70 meter one. And I'm going to leave a link to this particular rope at the bottom of this video. If you're on YouTube right now, you'll see it in the video description. And if you're on my site, you'll see a link for it underneath the video. But if you, like I said before, if you fit in any, into any of these five categories, I highly recommend you get this kind of rope or something similar uh, because it will make the experience of climbing in and out of Coyote Gulch way easier. Um, you can definitely do it without it. I am very happy that I had this rope and I will be bringing it with me into my next hike with Coyote Gulch as well as others. And I will be making a clip by clip video coming up soon uh, with showing myself doing a first person uh, view of me climbing out of it. One last thing that I wanna mention is that if you do decide to get the rope um, and you decide to climb into Coyote Gulch like we did and climb out of it using the area where you have to use the rope, uh, there's only one rock as I found out, only one little rock with a little bit of a of, a, of an area where you can tie the rope around. And this is the, the, the rock picture right here. See, it's, this is the area right here. See, you can see these two ropes. This one on the left is the one that I was not able to use because it didn't reach the bottom. And this is the one we bought off that person that I uh, told you about. But this is the rock that you can tie it into. Now, the thing is, we came from here, so we were like zigzagging our way down. We stopped here to look at the bottom, and we didn't even see that this rock was the one that we could tie the rope around. You have to look underneath this rock to see the section where you can tie the rope around. And that's very, very important for you to know if you're going to use the rope climb to get down into Coyote Gulch. Like I said, I'm going to be making more detailed videos about this stuff in the future, 
But if you decide to use the rope, there's a link underneath this video that'll uh, give you access to the same one that I bought. I'm really, really happy with it. It make the made the climb way easier, even though you can do without the rope, but I highly recommend it anyway if you're not experienced or if you're carrying heavy stuff or if you have any doubts. Um, and I really hope that this particular video has helped answer the question on whether or not you should be using rope to go down into Coyote Gulch. It is a bit, you know, heavy to carry it's about like 15 20 pounds but i would much rather you have this in your hands and not use it than not have it and be like oh crap how are we going to get out of this area so that's my personal opinion you're welcome to leave your comments and questions below this video thanks so much for watching and i hope you have a safe and fun hiking experience into coyote gulch because it truly is one of the most beautiful places i've seen and this is one of the photos that certainly proves that so thanks for watching and have a great one